Hey guys, Steve Blankard here again with the uh, Generator Rebuild Project. This is going to be part six. And I'm getting to the point now where I'm going to have to kind of do some before and after stuff. It's just too hard to film things as I'm doing things. But I want to show you where I'm at. Uh, we finished the armature yesterday. Uh, so now I'm looking at the main body and the field coils here. Um, to remove the field coils, they're held, they're held in on their shoes, and they're held in by these big, big flathead screws. Now they're really tight in the side of the case, so I generally use a hammer and impact wrench to break the screws loose, set it on a hard surface, and then use those to get them broke loose. And then they'll come right out, and then everything will just pull out the bottom, along with the wiring and the, and the uh, shoes and everything. Now before I take them out, one thing I do is I put a mark on the shoes, and I don't know if you can see this, but there's a single tick mark here and a double tick mark here, and that way when I go to put them back in, the single mark is on the, goes to the left, looking from the commutator end, the double mark goes to the right. That way I put them back in the exact same orientation that they came out. Okay, so the field coils, um, they're going to need to be rewrapped. They look to be in good shape, as you can see the, uh, I don't know how well you can try and focus here. Uh, the insulation that wraps them is deteriorating and coming off so I'm going to rewrap these. I've got the material to rewrap them so I'll be doing that next uh, but I wanted to do a test and this actually the test I could have done it before I took them or removed them from the from the case but the uh, the spec calls for these field coils to measure um, Five, at 5 volts, they should measure 1.3 to 1.5 amps draw. Well, I don't have the setup to measure it that way, but using Ohm's law, uh, Ohm's law basically is resistance equals volts divided by amps. So by using that, I determined that the range that these should be to measure the resistance is 3.3 to 3.85 ohms. So I've got it set up here. I've got my meter set up, and I've got them connected. So I'm going to turn the meter on here. And hopefully you can see that without too much glare. So that's uh, about three, right around three and a half ohms there. So it's right within spec of what the field coil should be reading. So that's good. Um, that tells me that they're not, the, the, ins the wire inside them is not shorted to each other, which would reduce that resistance. Now this, these coils are made of what's called magnet wire. You see those really fine windings in there. Let's see if I can get that. And hard to focus sorry um, but that fine wire is it's called magnet wire and it's copper wire that has an insulating a, an insulating coating on it so it doesn't short touching to each other you can't really see it but it's a thin insulating coating on those so normally the field coils really don't go bad they last a long time it's the it's the outer insulation that breaks down but by checking the resistance that tells me that the the coating on the wire hasn't broken down either so I'm going to be rewrapping these and, and uh, probably redo the, the insulation on the wires here and get that all done. And I'm going to clean up the case and paint that and get it ready to reassemble. And I'll show you that when we come back to it. So that's it for right now. Um, if you've got any questions, let me know and I'll try to answer them along the way. Okay, see you in a bit.